Welcome to part three, proteins and enzymes. Um, this is a very short tutorial to give us an overview of protein structure now that we understand um, about amino acids. Let's get started. So it's important to know that a protein is a polypeptide with specific biological function. So, all right, so poly means many, right? So we have many amino acids linked together um, and then this is a key point because we can go into the lab and we can string together amino acids all day but without a biological function we have not made a protein alrighty so the levels of protein structure um, the first part is described right here right this is the amino acid sequence so the primary structure so by now I think everybody's familiar with, you know, the primary symbol, right? So primary is the amino acid sequence. And what we're going to learn there is that the amino acids are linked together with peptide bonds. So this is a covalent structure. So the primary structure has to, is formed with peptide bonds, and remember those are covalent bonds. So this is the strongest aspect of a protein. Then though, because you know, having amino acids with the um, amine groups and the carboxylic acids, we have a lot of polarity. And so that leads to our secondary structure. And the source of secondary structure is we get H bonding between the neighboring amino acids of the polypeptide backbone. So that's a mouthful, right? So we get H bonding between neighboring amino acids of the polypeptide backbone. Alrighty, and so we will learn more about this in a future tutorial. And one example is shown here, the spiraling of an alpha helix. But notice the interactions are happening here. Alright, now um, linguistically, we've learned this as H bonding. But um, when we talked about H bonding, that was an intermolecular force between molecules. This interaction is happening within the same molecule. So frequently, what we've known as IMFs, right, is now called um, non-covalent interactions. Okay, so this, right, so they're non-covalent, so it's not like the primary structure of a um, protein where we form peptide bonds linking the amino acids. This is an interaction which we were, which, which, oops, excuse me, which we first learned as intermolecular forces. So um, that's just a, a little linguistic tidbit that sometimes causes people trouble, so I wanted to point that out. Then we get to our tertiary structure. Now the tertiary structure, this is really about the R groups that come off of the amino acids. And these interactions can be quite far apart. So when we think about tertiary structure, we're thinking about interactions between the R groups of the amino acids. Um, and they can be quite far apart. Right, the amino acids, I guess, maybe. Amino acids, right, can be quite far apart. And then the final um, aspect of um, um, protein structure is the quaternary structure. And this is where we can combine um, two or more polypeptides to create biological function.
And so, for example, like with hemoglobin, there are four polypeptides that um, are linked together with four heme groups to create our hemoglobin. Alrighty, so that concludes our overview of um, protein structure. And now there will be follow-up videos that will focus on primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary um, to get you started. So um, take some time now to review your notes before moving on to the next tutorial.